hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new here welcome so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this infinity peplum top that you can wear in many ways by the way that is my instagram handle right there so if you don't follow me on instagram please follow me on instagram so let's get straight into the video so this is my fabric i had my african print fabric and my lining fabric and then i made sure that the right sides of the fabrics were facing each other and then i folded the two fabrics two times first in half like that then I decided to just lift up the fabric like that and then I left a few inches on the bottom because I wanted the peplum to be like a deep hem to be lower at the back. Then I measured about 6 inches from the top corner. I'm going to show you how I calculated this and then I just went ahead and then I cut off the top corner. And I also drew a curve there and then I also cut that away. Then I also ironed it to make sure that all the seams were flat before I sewed any further. So that so there are many ways to insert this zip, but this is just the way that I found easier for me. And I used my zipper foot for this and I just stitched the zipper on both African print sides. After stitching the zipper on the two African print sides, I now also went on to close that gap. Then I did an invisible stitch on the lining. 
So my at that point I basically completed my sip. So this is the little fabric piece that I used for the waistband. It was about two and a half inches wide and the waist was 30 inches which is the length of my waist. And then I just ironed on some interfacing onto it to give it some stiffness. And then I started folding in the edges and ironing them. Then I also folded it in half, just like that. I now went on to attach it to the rest of the peplum. So I had three inverted pleats, one at the front on the center and two on the sides. And at the back, I just put uh, two knife pleats on both sides. Just making sure that the peplum fits to the length of the waistband, which is 30 inches. So I basically just try to fold the pleats so that I can get that resulting length.
And the last step was to now go and attach the, those two long pieces of fabric onto the peplum. Then I just pin them at the front. And then I stitched them down. So these are just some of the many ways that you can wear this peplum top. Thank you so much for watching this video you guys. I really appreciate you stopping by today and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye!